Hello everyone, my name is Finding Pepper and welcome to the Tile Scrolling Platform Expansion Series, where I will be expanding on a tutorial series made by Griff Patch. In this episode, uh, I'll be adding a new enemy to the game, the Bullet Bell. If you've played Mario before, you probably know what this is. It is just a bullet that gets shot out of a cannon and blasts forwards in a straight line. And it'll kill Mario if he touches it. But Mario can kill it if he bounces on it, in a similar way to a Goomba. So let's get into coding this. First we need to get the costumes we need. Normally I already have them in my uh, game here, but I have created um, a new project that is assets for all my tutorials, so we can go over to that and find the costumes. So here we are. We have uh, the on-off blocks, conveyor belts, you know, all of these. And here is our bullet bills. So we'll go into the costumes and we can see we have the cannon sprites and the bullet bill itself. We can just drag that into our backpack, the whole sprite. Next we can go back to our other project. Okay, now here we are. We can open our backpack and drag the sprite into the sprite area. Next, we'll copy the first three costumes into the tile sprite. And then the other two we'll copy into the enemy sprite. Next, we can just delete this sprite. And then we can use our costumes. You see, they, they're all right here. First off, we're going to create um, some new tiles in the editor from these three tiles right here. Uh, so 69, 70, and 71. They're probably different for you because uh, this is using an older version of the project. So don't use my numbers. Use your own numbers. So we'll go to the editor. Uh, show the tile key map list and add um, I guess a four for these three We also should make sure to set the tile shape Perfect you can hide that and now let's try it out Pressing the 4 key, there they are, yep that looks like it works fine. I'll just build a little cannon right over here on the left. Uh, awesome, so let's stop that and then we can go into the enemy sprite. You see this bullet cannon? This is going to be an enemy. So why do we put it in the tile sprite? So we put it in the tile sprite because we want it to be solid. But it's also in the enemy sprite because we want it to be able to clone other enemies, which are the bullet bills. Sprites cannot clone other sprites and convey uh, information such as local variables. If we want to make sure the type is correct, um, then we'll have to clone it from the enemy sprite. So, now we'll just drag the bullet cannon into the tiles uh, because we need to be able to place this. Okay, now we have to add this to the tile key map also. We'll show the uh, key mat list, oops, down at the bottom here, and we'll add uh, just a 9 at the bottom because it's an enemy. And it's not really being used as an enemy, it's just being used to clone enemies. Okay, so now we have that, we can go into the enemy sprite and look at the spawn type block. And we're going to duplicate this. 
say if tile type is 72 or whatever your number is, we'll set type uh, bullet cannon. The costume that will be 26. The width is uh, 16, I believe, and height 32. Now over here and move enemy. We'll go to the bottom. And if type equals bullet cannon, we'll delete all this is in here. We'll leave this stop the script. Then we'll make a new block called tick bullet cannon. Run without screen refresh. We'll stick it in here. Then we'll move the block into some free space. First thing, we'll want to make sure our rotation style is set to don't rotate. Then we'll change frame by one. Now we want to point towards the player. If the player is to the right, we'll point to the right. If it's to the left, we'll point to the left. So, if x is greater than x of player, then the bullet cannon is to the right of Mario, so we'll point to the left. Otherwise, it's to the left of Mario, so we'll point to the right. And then we'll just paint Sprite. And also, before that, make sure the costume is set to the root costume. And since I have an older version of the project, I don't have the root costume variable, so I'll just set it to 20, uh, 26. And then paint Sprite. Okay, so here you'll see why it shows the bullet cannon to be an enemy. It's because it needs to make clones of other enemies. And while other sprites can make clones of enemies, they can't specify the type the enemy needs to be. It'll be just whatever type the, the parent sprite happens to be at, which I believe is blank. And that won't be much good. We need to use the bullet cannon to make clones of the enemy. And the way it'll do that is it'll set it'll set its type to bullet bill and then it'll create clone of myself. And then it'll set its type back to bullet cannon. And this will happen all in one frame so you won't see the bullet cannon turning into a bullet bill and then back into a cannon. Now, we need to do this every now and then. So I'm going to say if frame modulo 60 is equal to zero. Modulo is another way of saying what is the remainder when frame is divided by 60. So that means, so if it's zero, that means the frame will be a multiple of 60. So this is when frame is 60, 120, 180, 240, etc. This is roughly two or three seconds. So this will happen every two or three seconds. So now we have to make code for the bullet bill. Go down to here, duplicate the type equals bullet cannon. Say if type is bullet bill. Then we'll make a new custom block. Take bullet bill. Put it right over here. Make sure to keep the stop the script. And make sure to remember to put it there. I sometimes forget. So I'll take it over here and start coding it up. Now, if you remember, the bullet cannon doesn't rotate. So we need to make sure that the bullet bill 
does rotate, we want it to rotate left to right, depending on which way it's facing. So that's the first thing we'll do. We want it to move in a straight line, so then we'll just change x by direction divided by 30. So what does this do? Well, if it's pointing to the right, the direction will be 90, so that's 3. It'll change x by 3. If it's pointing to the left, then the direction is negative 90, so it'll change x by negative 3. Then we're just going to change frame by 1, and then set the costume. Let's look at which costume it is. Uh, 27, right there. So we'll set costume to 27. Yours might be different. Then we'll paint the sprite. Okay, so the bullet bills are coming out. That's great. Let's see. Now it looks like they're coming out kind of the middle, not at the top. Well, that should be expected, because when a sprite creates a clone of itself, it always goes to the middle of the sprite, or where the little plus is, and right here the plus is in the middle. So that should be expected. Okay. There is something we can do to fix this, though. We have to go over to the when I start as a clone. Okay, right here. We can say if type equals bullet bill, then we'll just change y by um, 16. Let's see. Yes, see, it's coming right out of there. That's perfect. Okay. Now we have to do a little bit more code on the bullet bill. First, we want to disappear if it's off the screen, either to the left or to the right. That means if the tile grid x is greater than grid width. Grid width is the amount of tiles, and tile grid x is the tile x of it currently. So if that's greater than the total amount of tiles, then it's off the screen, and we delete this clone. Now, if tile grid x is less than 1, then it's to the left of the screen, and we should delete it also. Next, we have to test if it's touching the player. Now, there are two things that could happen if it's touching the player. Either it gets killed or the player gets killed. So if the player gets killed, then bop y of player is greater than blank. This means that the player is going downwards, so he can kill the bullet bill. Then we're just going to Set frame to zero. Start sound. Um, yeah, sound is good. Then we can set bounce player to two, so the player will bounce a little bit. And then finally, we will flip. Otherwise, the player is not going downward, so it's going to broadcast player hurt. Or Mario hurt, I believe it is. Uh, sorry, in my, in my game I call Mario player, so that's why I'm calling all of them bop boy of player, whatever, and player hurt. Also, I am remixing the episode 16 project, so 
I don't have Mario hurt, so I'm just gonna use lose life instead, but you should use Mario hurt. Okay, I believe we can check that out now. So there goes the bullet bill. Oh, whoops, ha, I said touching mouse pointer. I meant touching Mario. There we go. Let's try that out again. There we go. That works. Now let's try jumping on them. Perfect. Flips up. Maybe a little too much. Yeah. But, you know. It works for now. You can fiddle with it if you like. Okay, there's a few more things I want to do. We're going to go over to the bullet cannon script. I don't want it to shoot if it's off the screen. So, check. Okay, so this is just if it's off the edge of the screen. If it's greater than, if X position is greater than 239 or less than negative 239, and then Y positions, then it's off the screen and we should stop the script. If Y position is greater than 179 or less than negative 179, then it's also off the screen and we should stop the script. Next, I don't want it to fire if Mario's standing right next to it. So for that, we need to get a little get tile at block. First, we're going to get the tile to the left of the bullet can. X minus 24. And then the Y is the same. If the tile grid X is equal to the tile grid X of player, Then we're going to stop the script, because that is where Mario is. And then we're going to get it to the right a little bit, so this time it will be x plus 24. And then it will stop the script. Okay. Also, I believe there's a tiny bit more testing we need to do, because I forgot to test if it works when Mario's to the left of the bullet cannon. Let's check that out. And just grab Yep, it does. Okay, that's good. Now if we stand right next to it. Yep, it stops firing. That's great. Let's try this one. Yep, it stops firing also. And then does it work on the right? Yep. It does. Alright. That's good. This is really nice. Okay, I believe that is it for this episode. We have coded some bullet bills in uh, Mario. This is a brand new enemy, and it's looking pretty nice, if I do say so myself. Uh, we can get killed by them, and we can bounce on them and kill them. These can be used in, like, platforming, if you, you can get creative with them. And just, it's a little challenge, like, maybe they have to jump up a, a climb with these bullet bills shooting at them. So lots of fun ideas. I hope you get, you get creative with these. I'd love to see your projects if they're shared, and goodbye.